Okay, so apparently it's 2023 and we should stop using the double ampersand for conditional rendering in React. Now, that's all I use for conditional rendering in React is the double ampersand. So this is going to be an interesting read. Apparently, there's a better way in 2023 to conditionally render your React. So let's take a look. Let's skim through here. Okay, we're in 2023. There's a better way to handle conditional rendering in React than using the double ampersand. So the old way, conditional rendering with double ampersand. We've all experienced this in React. We have some sort of condition here. For example, if logged in, we use the double ampersand to then render, if this particular condition is true, then we render a particular bit of markup. So we've all seen that in React, and that's the only way I'm pretty sure, other than the ternary operator, but I very, very rarely use the ternary operator. So anyway, let's scroll down here. The modern way, conditional rendering with the ternary operator or logical or. Okay, so apparently we should be using ternary operator instead of double ampersand or the logical or. So let's scroll down. Let's see the example they've got here. Conditional rendering with ternary operator. I'm not sure this is a cleaner way. I much prefer double ampersand. So if is logged in is true, we're using the ternary operator to render our markup but we need to provide an else statement and we're just rendering null, we're just specifying null. To me, this it's a lot cleaner to have the double, the double ampersand. The only reason or the only time I use the ternary operator that I can think of off the top of my head is if I'm rendering a small or trivial bit of markup. For example, in a form, so if we have a loading state, so let's say is loading and set is loading, set it equal to use state, default state is false. So in a form, for example, whenever we hit the submit button in a form, let's say we have a button here, the only time I'd use the ternary operator is to, for example, set the button label text. So if loading is true, then I'd set the button label text to something like loading, else we'll set the button text to submit. So this is the only time I can think of that I use the ternary operator. I certainly don't use the ternary operator for large amounts of markup. So for example, if is loading is true and we'd have a bunch of markup in here, else another bunch of markup, I would much prefer to render my content like this. So for example, let's say we have a div in here, oh, a div. <laughs> and uh, so if loading is true, then we have a bunch of markup we need to render. I'd render the bunch of markup in here if is loading is true. And if there was another bunch of markup we needed to render if loading was false, then I'd set is loading to false here in our double ampersand operator and render the appropriate markup here. So I'd have two statements here. I much prefer, to me, this is a lot cleaner. If we have two statements, it's a lot easier to read, in my opinion, than having the ternary operator to render or conditionally render a bunch of markup. So I only use the ternary operator for small bits of markup, but I definitely do use the double ampersand for pretty much everything else. Now, there is one bad habit I have well, I don't want to say a bad habit, but it's a habit I have. And that is, instead of just having is loading here, even if it's a Boolean, I'll use the double not operator. So this is exactly the same if it's a Boolean or not, but I have the bad habit or habit or whatever you want to call it of using the double not operator here, even if it's a Boolean. So this is redundant, obviously, if it's a Boolean, but it's handy if it's something like a string. So with that said, that's all I use is these double ampersands. So let's move on to the next one then in the article. They're suggesting the conditional rendering with logical or operator. So let's see. Ah, okay. Yeah. I, I think I use this. I, I use this actually. Yeah. Yeah. I do use this. I do use this, the double pipe here. So where we've got or. So if username, if there's no username set, then we just default to guest. However, I think I do do this in my markup, but let's take this component here as an example. Let's say in app here, we have our props and they used username here as an example. I think what I might do instead, or not instead, but I do an equal amount of is just setting a default value on the username within the props. So we'd set the default value. If no username was specified, we'd set it as a default value to guest. So I do use this method sometimes, but I also use this method as well. So if username, if there's no value for username, we default using the double pipe to guest. So, okay, what's the benefits of the modern approach? By using the ternary operator or the logical or operator, we gain several benefits. I don't think we gain several benefits. Like, to be honest, I think this is a bit trivial. 
I think it all depends on what you think is good for readability because here this woman in the article is saying that readability is better when we use the ternary operator. I don't, but I don't think that's true. Like personally, I much prefer, I think this is way more readable where we have two statements here. We know exactly what markup has been rendered if this condition is true. We know exactly what markup has been rendered if this condition is false. With the ternary operator, it can spread over multiple lines and sometimes as well it's difficult, especially if we've got a bunch of markup in each of these conditions. When it's spread over multiple lines, for example like this, it's sometimes a bit difficult to know where the colon is for the next condition. So me personally, I much prefer using the double ampersand for most things other than if it's something trivial that we need to conditionally render, then I'll use the ternary. And then if there are values, I do agree with this article, if there are values that are null or undefined, then we can use the double pipe to render a fallback value. So with that said, let me know what you use for your conditional rendering in React. To be honest, I think most people are following the rules in this article other than overusing the ternary and the double pipe operator. And I think most people are actually fine to use double ampersand for most of their conditional rendering in React. Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer, if you have a preference, and I'll see you in the next video.